right? And here, nothing new was to preach civilization. But I think the people he was preaching to are not able to comprehend. That's why pagod na siya, mainit pa. Right? And it conveys not only the Filipinos, what? Uh, the state of their, their uncivilized state, but their capacity of learning is also uh, no. They're not capable of learning. Right? Okay. Then, there's the other one. Here, it's here, India. I'm oh, not India. This is the Native Americans. These are the Filipinos. Long distance. Long distance. I think the title of this cartoon is Learning from Experience. So, if you if you will not follow us, then this will happen to you. What happened to the Native Americans will happen to the Filipinos if the Filipinos will not go over it. And it did. Take note that many of the many of those who fought in the Indian Wars were, were, uh, when, were the, the generals rather of the Philippine American War were the private insurgents of the Indian Wars. When they came to the Philippines, there was somebody who wrote, um, I, mean, I, to, I forgot the book, but he described shooting the Filipinos is like shooting rabbits. Okay? Shooting Filipinos is just like shooting rabbits. So they were just here to play a game. Okay? So that they will be in touch with their native instincts. Okay. Then these are then later on, na also in photography. Right? When when photography became in a became popular, they have now more evidences to to justify colonization. This one is from National Geographic. The next photograph is from National Geographic. And when I saw this, I was shocked. You still, uh, uh, you know, before and after, uh, before and after uh, ads, right? Because he took something, right? That's also something very old, okay? As shown in this picture. Wait, why not? So brief, there. This is Belle, according to the caption, as they found her, then, after undergoing uh, some education. But it's obvious that these are not the same people, right? Okay, see? I uh, no clothes after some education, clothes. Right? Now, this is now when you present this to people, because in National Geographic was taken as something real. Right? Take the way we see television now. We watch TV, para makala natin tutuwi yun. But what is the reason behind? These are two, and, and, and I'm not, I have not confirmed this yet. But women, ilongot women, I'm still, I, I read somewhere, na kung nagmumorn sila, they remove their clothes. So in all likelihood, this girl is mourning. And when they're not mourning, they wear that. Right? Okay. Then there's this one. Uh, again, juxtaposition. The Filipino, this time the Negrito. And this is uh, Dean, Dean Morgister, the American scientist who was assigned in the Philippines. He was the one who grouped us according to the Gorots to, to he gave the names, right? He made the taxonomy of the Filipinos. And he believed that. Uh, 
Pilipinas, we believe that the Filipinos are not the ones in Manila, but the ones in the in the in the in the provinces, in the mountains. And he was convinced that uh, among the groups is the missing link. Okay? That's why he spent most of his time in the Philippines. His research assistant, by the way, is somebody from Samuang. Okay? Somebody from Samuang, the Matei Francisco, I think who lived in Michigan for 13 years during that time, the OFW unit, okay? And he, he, he was with American, um, I think he met him with the Spaniards, with the Spanish, Spanish tours, and eventually that guy worked with him, he was from Zamboanga, and he became the model that Filipinos can actually undergo a process of change, right? Uh, he died a very big rich man in the only several lovely years. Okay? And of course, you see a comparison of a fully grown man, Filipino grown, fully, fully grown Filipino man, and fully grown American. Again, the, the nakedness, fully clothed, well groomed, straight, rooted, and that reminds you of. Okay. So it's sustained. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm here to do two things. One is to, to present that. The other one is to promote this. Now, if you're interested to, after your studies, if you're interested to further your studies abroad, you go to this, okay, Education USA, okay, we are in charge of food rights scholarships, and for more details, we go to this website, uh, www.am.org, the office is in Makati, if you're applying, uh, there's opportunity grants where the office can give assistance in in, the, in processing some of the papers. They give the, they not need the money. They give some assistance to people who are filing their applications. Okay? So it's www.pop.org. It for that. It, it will help you a lot. Okay? It will take care of so many things. And help you with your pursuits. Okay. Okay. Then the other uh, third thing that I'm, I'm gonna do is to, of course, negotiate. Negotiate. I'm gonna promote my book. Okay. Let's see here. It's it's all the things that I could not all. Many of the things I presented, the arguments, and the texts, the, the theories are all here. It's, uh, the price is 320, but according to UP bookstore, if you're going to buy it today, it's only 300. Not okay. okay, so that's it. And um, you can ask. Okay, so now we open the floor for questions, clarifications, even comments to the exact so So we have questions. Questions? Claro. Oh yeah. Because uh, in the cover of your book, it's very interesting. After the uh, Americans are watched also by the international community. Yes. So maybe you can talk about how the international community reacted to how the Americans were yeah. dealing with Filipinos. Yeah. Um, the, uh, there's two things actually to look into this cover. Uh, um, ano is, is he a despot, right? So the, the world looking over uh, that Napoleon 